reverse your button. But it's reverse. Other way. Back it up. Hey, we'd like to thank HB Fuller and the Fast 2K team for sponsoring this video. If you don't want to like haul concrete back into the woods, Fast 2K is a great alternative. You put it in the ground, 30 minutes later, you're ready to use. It has never let us down once. We are, our pole barn's built with it. Our greenhouse is built with it. We love this stuff. Thank you, Fast 2K. Uh, new chicken. So, Mr. Ray from Alabama sent Gizmo a new chicken. He, chickens are his favorite for some reason. Well, pigs too. He likes the little pigs. This is the Gizmo. He, he don't want me to play chicken. Don't, he don't want me to throw it. Is, is it too hard to throw? Mr. Ray. Okay, so thank you, Mr. Ray from Alabama. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we're gonna talk about this front-mounted auger for the tractor. Uh, I had, a, uh, had an interview with Brock yesterday from Rock Hill Farm. He's another YouTube channel, does a lot of similar things that we do. So if you haven't seen his channel, he's a, he's a great guy and you really probably enjoy his channel, Rock Hill Farm. And uh, some of our viewers followed us over there to that interview and they asked questions during the interview and they wanted to know if our new Ironcraft front mounted auger would work on the T25. We've had it on the, T, or the T474 and it's worked fine. I feel confident once we get the third function uh, on the 2515 that it'll work fine on that as well. Now, what Ironcraft has done is they have made a engine or a motor, hydraulic motor, that is a minimum five gallon per minute flow rate. And that's, it has a planetary gear in this unit. And what that does is it uh, allows the smaller flow tractors to be able to use this. Now, I don't recommend using uh, hydraulic motors that continuously work on small tractors because they just don't have the uh, hydraulic cooling capacity. But for, for uses like this, where you're going through digging a hole and the tractor setting for a little bit, digging a hole, tractor setting for a little bit, it's perfectly fine. And it's just something you need to monitor. You don't want to just keep this, this hydraulic motor running constantly because the simple fact is these tractors, uh, no, no brand, have the hydraulic cooling capacity to run one of these full time. So let's talk about the tractor and why this is kind of iffy. I, don't, I think it's gonna work fine. So the T25 is a 25 horsepower uh, tractor and it has uh, 9.6 gallons per minute hydraulic pump on it if memory serves right in that right in that area now what this unit is a little bit different than the bigger tractors is they have a implement hydraulic pump and then they also have a power steering hydraulic pump this particular unit has one big hydraulic pump it's it's pretty pretty sizable hydraulic pump on there it is 9.6 gallons and what it does is tym uses a diverter valve not just tym there's a lot of other uh, tractor companies that do the same thing they use a diverter valve and they divert some of the hydraulic flow to the power steering and the remainder is diverted diverted to the the implements and like the three-point hitch lift arms so what i think happens is when you're not actually using the power steering um the and you just got the tractor stationary and just moving back and forth you're not using as much of the flow for the steering as you would be if you're actually turning and moving making big movements so i think we're going to be okay with this because the implement is rated at 4.9 and like i said if we're not using the steering i think we're going to get just a little bit more out of it i got high hopes so so the project that we're going to try this on is tanya and i cut a true white oak it's six by six eight foot long post and we've got a big slab of white oak that we've cut for a bench top 
and we're gonna build, build a bench in the woods on one of our walking trails. Actually, we're gonna build it right in front of the sawmill because she wants a place to sit down. And uh, I think it's a good place to test it. It's gonna be out in the woods. There's, you know, it's just true, about as true as you're gonna get. So let's go do that. So I know I'm gonna get somebody that says that what we dug up was really soft soil. And it was, you're probably pretty close to right. But if you wanna see if this thing will dig through the solid clay that we have at the top of the hill, make sure you watch this video all the way to the end. So we got X marking the spot here. This is not rocket science or anything like that. So um, one thing I've noticed already because the T25 is so small and the hood kind of rounds over, I have a lot better uh, ability to see. So. Better vision. Better vision. Failed, failed this test because I failed to figure out what two feet looks like. Well, that's the top, about midway from the top to here, about two feet. I'll, you, I'll say this, it done a really good job. I didn't feel any, it didn't even stop. The, the pressure on the T25 is, is really good, the hydraulic pressure. It, it's not setting the world on fire as far as how fast, but it was very precise and you could see what you were doing. It never bogged the engine. Uh, I never heard the uh, bypass kick in from the hydraulics. It did good. The only thing I noticed, this is fully, this is extended as fully tall as we can get. Let me see, I'll, I'll tilt it for a little bit. This is how you would operate it, roughly right here. So that is as high as I can get. So you cannot add an extension if you get the T25, but if you need to do like three feet, three and a half feet post, I think you're golden with this. Uh, especially in this type, so I don't know, harder soils might be different. We got, this is clay, but I feel pretty good about it. We'll do the next one. All right, where are we at? giving me direction behind the camera. Back a little bit more. It's gotta be, hey, this is, this is 
this is like gotta be perfect I got a thumbs up Good, I thought. But you will not be able to get an extension on this. I also had the backhoe on the back, so I had basically the maximum ballast. All right, I'm going to let you pick up these. You let me do that? Muscle man. You let me do it. You're good to me like that, huh? Yep. Since you, cut it, in, since are, you cut it in half, it's not as heavy. Well, these are white oak and they're wet. I don't know if we got that one deep enough. I think so, it'll be fine. Well, if we don't get them deep enough, the, the, when it freezes, it'll heave them out of the ground. So it's not one of those. Well, I just can put dirt around it. I think I got that one maybe a little too deep. Yeah. That's what I was trying to tell you. Well, I was having fun digging a hole. I mean, it's like my inner child. Well, you need to control your inner child. I don't think so. If you guys don't know, if you guys from from somewhere else, we have the most horrific humidity in Tennessee in the summer. I've only been outside for about an hour. Oh no, maybe all right. I've only been outside for about an hour and uh, yeah, I'm already soaking wet. There's all the crying I got. I don't have a... This is actually kind of good because, because this part right here is going downhill. So I guess that'll be perfect because it's going downhill. It's like going with the land. So I like that a lot. Okay. I really don't want to disturb the land very much. We're going to cut the post off to make it level. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just eyeballing these. This is not rocket science. It's just. You're a, just going to sit there. Right. So I'm saying I'm not. Plus, we're not driving the tank on it. Listen, you don't never know what I'm going to do. No, no tank on it. I'm going to turn them where they're facing each other. That yeah, that, that's good. That will bug me, so. Your OCD, huh? Yeah, so when we get the get them in on the fast 2K, 30 minutes from now, we can Okay. We can cut the top off that off level. Okay, let's go get some fast 2K in there. All right. Yeah, there was a tick on the. I just smushed another one. There was a tick on the bag. That bad this year. Yep. Putting my gloves in my pocket. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Good 
don't really have a good shoe shine place here. You can lay. my leg. You can do it perfectly well if you do it like this, sloshing it back and forth, just grabbing it by the ends. But if you're not strong enough to do that, like wrapping it over something with a shoe shine, guarantees shake, shake. It. Yeah. It's hot, so it should, uh, the hotter it is, the quicker it, it uh, I'm gonna try not to get it on my clothes. Yeah, if you get this on your clothes, it will be there. You're supposed to wait for me. Well, it's getting hot and it's gonna start expanding in the back. I got it all over my hands. Cause I didn't wear my gloves. They, they provide gloves, so. You just don't wear them? I just don't wear them. I put some mineral spirits on my hands at home. Put some spit on it, it'll be all right. It's a pretty cool little package here. It comes with the, the gloves and the instructions and this is clean up right here. Just put it in the trash bag and you're done. It's like dough rising. Yeah. Yeah, we just needed two bags. Probably didn't even need two bags, to be honest with you. That's all. We need forward. only two bags. You chose what I was thinking about earlier because the hole well, is going to be know, as deep I'm and always, it's still going to rise. So, you know, I'm always about having too much versus too little. You make sure it's level, babe? I don't want to make sure it's level. It's, it's just out here in the woods. It ain't, it ain't important. Don't move it. Just let it go. Well, my OCD is messing with me now. I'm just gonna cut the top off level once it's set up. I love hearing the birds. But we still need some guineas here. Eat all those ticks. For the, I'm gonna pop it off with the uh, with the shovel and then. Yeah, I think we might. This may do the balloon thing too. It's a little bit deeper hole, but. Hmm. They actually have a chart that you can look it up on their website. And it tells you how many bags you'll need for what size hole. You put in what size post you have, what size hole you have, how deep the hole is, and then it'll tell you how many bags you'll need to fill it up. So what's cool about this is once it sets up 30 minutes later, we can we can come back to it, top the post, put the, put the bench top on, and 24 hours later, it's 100% set up. But 30 minutes later, you can build on it. It's like 97% fully full strength at, at 30 minutes. I can tell the difference between your homemade butter and the- Oh my God, it is so much better. Yeah, I can, I can tell the difference. A drop or two. All right, I think that's good. That look level at all? Good enough for a bench. Yep. Oh, spin it around. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Not perfect, but we'll pull them down real tight with those those screws. 
So I'm going to use some GRK screws. These things are pretty awesome as far as how much strength they have. Hopefully it'll pull down in the wood just a little bit. If not, they'll round it over so that it'll be comfortable. Hold on. Let's see if this big Hercules will drive her in there. I found these are not bad about splitting either. It's got a self-drilling tip. Got in there. Didn't pull it through though. It didn't, it didn't suck it in there any, which That's I probably okay. really wasn't expecting it. Heat index is 111 today, right now gonna be hotter than 111. This is this has got a knot right here. I'm not sure how that's gonna work out for me. Let me back up that knot. Uh oh. That's not good. I got off centered. And Gum it. So you don't have to get the sauce on and grind it off. Well, I tripped on a vine and, and I pulled over. Are and you that... making excuses? No, I'm just telling you a fact. Oh, okay. Why don't you come over here and do it, Hot Rod? No, I'm good. All right, that's, you, you can sit there, I can't sit there. <laughs> we'll, we'll let the neighbor sit there. I don't think that's gonna go in the, through that knot, we'll see. Man, it's, it's all off two of them now. Let me just go over here beside it. Not good. Well, so long the bench ain't going anywhere, that's what matters, but. That oak is tough. You're gonna have to cut those off now. Yeah, you're gonna have to cut it off now. Yeah, that one's stripped off. I'll just get the grinder break down here. Well, have fun walking up there. I'll wait for you. This is rough. 100 and 111, 112 degrees right now. Just walking up to the front of the property is just absolutely, I'm soaking wet. All right, this looks like uh, I did this when I was in third grade. Okay, I think that's good. I had to make sure that I got all the little sharp edges off because the, this is a hardened steel and uh, it basically was just making razor blades. Let me get out of the way so we can do some like final pictures video things. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I guess my, come on, let's go sit on my bench so my mom can sit down when dad's working. The new rest area.
<laughs> hey, this will be put to use. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Walking the trails and... Why don't you over and sit on that in pieces? No, I'm good right now. Off. It's kind of hot. This is kind of nice to have a, have a place to sit down when you I think when walk I, and... I'm going to drop a load of gravel right here so we have something on our feet. Mm -hmm. And then that'll raise our feet up just a little bit. Because to me, it's a little high. I like it because it gets your feet off the ground. The bugs can crawl on you. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, but we're going to, I'm going to get the sander and sand this down a little bit and hey, put a coat over it. Right after this, wait. Whenever I clap my hands, you'll see the T65. T65. <laughs> <laughs> I'm burnt up, tired. Hey, right after this, you're going to see the T25 digging through clay as soon as I slap my hands. <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> Nothing happened. Give him a little. What's crap wrong with you? So he's really enjoying his toys that he's been getting. So. Yep, yep. All right, let's cut this thing off and go give him what we promised. <laughs> okay, I promised you guys to do another test uh, in, under a little bit harsher conditions. The soil in the woods was pretty loamy, uh, so it, it it wasn't a big struggle for probably any post hoe digger. This area right here was pushed off probably 20 years ago with a dozer and there's maybe two, two inches of topsoil and then it goes right into really hard clay. Let's see what it'll do with this. I'll say that all soil types are different, but that is really hard clay. Last year we struggled to get a post hole digger in it with a, a rear mounted post hole digger. We really struggled with it. I just used the I just used the uh, float feature on the loader and just let it pull itself down in uh, into the ground and did a great job. I uh, I'm thoroughly impressed with this. I mean, I really am. This is a viable. Uh, if if you don't have to go further than say three and a half feet in, this is a viable unit for sure for a 25 horsepower tractor. And if you got like the 474, which is a 48 horsepower tractor, the loader's a lot bigger, then you can add extensions and really get down like five, six you know, feet down if you need to. So, but still I'm, I'm the T25 just keeps on impressing me. You guys stay tuned. These are the posts for the foundation of our cabin. You'll see a video coming out pretty soon where we build the pad and start installing these posts. 